Hey everybody, Mariko Curry here, bringing you part 7 of Let's Play Yoshi's Island. In this part, we are going to tackle on stage 2... 6. Thank you, Han. And stage 2-7. And possibly stage 2-8, but... Uh, I think stage 2-7 is going to take a little longer than I than I anticipated. But... Let's keep, up, let's keep on going. And hope for the best. 2-6, the Cave of Mystery Maze. Now don't let those little tiny, I'm gonna guess dragonflies are supposed to be, fool you. You can't actually eat them. Um, there is a shy guy right there, but all he does actually is just only give you a... Uh, I think some uh, stars, but the thing is that... You can, he sh uh, shows up quickly and then disappears even faster, so I don't really... It's not saying that it's impossible to reach him, but I think you're better off just ignoring him and just keep on going. Plus, I think this level will give a lot of stars, so you don't have to worry about that. Let's get these shy guys right here. Uh, I believe we should break that block first. There we go. And you want to take the left? I mean, the right? Yeah. All right. Okay, I was trying to figure out... The thing is that I have my shoulder buttons, but I have the uh, egg launching button on my uh, on my uh, uh, B button, so it kind of gets confusing. It's been a while since I played, uh, because I've been so busy doing a lot of other stuff, which is why these videos haven't been coming out very quickly. Um, the thing is that, you know, it's summer. You would suspect that, you know, we're out of school, that means... Hooray, just get, you have a ton of free time, and that means I can make a bunch of videos. Not exactly, I, that's what I was actually hoping for, but the issue is that, uh, I'm 17, need money, and if you want money, you're gonna have to get a job for that. I've been searching for some jobs, and so far I haven't come up with anything. Uh, not to mention I've also been working on, us little minor stuff that's for myself, like, uh, com video game completion, because uh, there's been a lot of games I wanted to finish, but the thing is that I have not been able to finish them because uh, I never had the time to. And now that I have the time, I try to finish as many as I can. I actually had a whole entire list already set up for that, but the thing is that uh, I have to add some more games to that list because my Nintendo Wii actually lost all its uh, save data, and one of those games, or not just one of them, but three of those games that are very, very long, uh, Super Mario Bros. Wii, Super Mario Galaxy 2, all the green stars, no less, and Super Smash Bros., all my save data on those games were gone because my um, Wii got corrupted somehow. I don't, unlike most people, I do not hack my Wii uh, for, you know, homebrew channel or anything like that. In fact, the only time I've actually only hacked it is only to use a, a USB loading game called uh, uh, Project M for Smash Brothers. And the thing is that, uh, what happened is that my Wii, uh, after playing a game of a uh, Wii Fit, and yes, I know a lot of people think that game does not actually help you lose weight, but eh, I have fun. I have fun with it. But um, a l after playing only one day with it, my whole entire Wii got corrupted and said that the system files were uh, damaged or uh, or corrupted, at, as I said. So I had to send it in for Nintendo, and since it's it's an old system now, and the warranty has expired, uh, it's actually they actually uh, repair it or check take a look at it for free, and so it, it cost me absolutely nothing just to let them see it and and try to figure out what's wrong with it. So I really like that. But as since that's gonna since that happened, that not only was it just only my uh, those games that take a long time to complete, but it was also my virtual console games. And while it's not as much of a big deal because I am planning on getting a Nintendo Wii U. I still had a lot of save data on those uh, files, on those uh, on those games, and most and some of that stuff was some of those. Uh, uh, how do I? Re I'm trying to reach that. Some of those uh, games had levels that were very difficult to get through, 
Especially even if it's an RP, especially if it was an RPG game that involves a lot of grinding, or if I've done a lot of, a lot of grinding on those schemes for no apparent reason. There we go. All right, let's go up one more step. Let's go in here. And we get a new minigame. Watermelon Seed Spitting Contest. Grab a watermelon and shoot your enemy as quickly as you can. Reduce your enemy's power meter to zero to win. Uh, yeah, this is actually a very nice uh, kind of... I, I would actually like to see this uh, go the route of like Mega Man 7 and have like a secret two-player mode. Because some of these uh, Yoshi's Island uh, minigames, they actually seem like they could be really fun to play with two players. But the best, uh, the best way to win at this uh, game is to get the red watermelon, because it does double damage than the uh, regular watermelon seeds. And I think, uh, I don't think I damaged him with the watermelon seeds. So I would think that it only takes two hits to uh, knock out the bandit. Anyways, let's continue on. Uh, there's one thing I want to check before we go. No, never mind. Let's just check in if uh, that... If daddy, if daddy, if that uh, pipe leads anywhere. All right, we make it up here again. All right, we got ourselves a cloud here, and we get some coins, and we get some cannons here. These guys cannot be attacked by eggs, but you and you can't eat them, but you can ground pound them to to, to kill them. So I, I recommend you just ignore them, because really, it's not really worth the time to just knock them out. Anyways, right here we got another perspective little mode here and huh oh man it's it's shaking a lot there's actually I see something down there but what is it like there's you can see that there's a little opening showing the waterfall right there I don't know if that's just there for no reason or if that's actually hiding something let's get out of that shaky place all right Scrolling is much more better here. Alright, right here we got some... Somewhat of, like... Platform... Oh, man. Stupid fish. Basically what happens is that you can jump on these plat on these uh, platforms for a certain a certain number of times. Uh, the number of times is, is actually listed on the uh, platforms. <clears throat> and if I can just get out of this water... <laughs> Okay. As soon as you get off it, it actually re it actually lowers down to one. So, I mean, it's pretty simple and obvious. So, I don't know why I'm actually uh, telling you this like you don't know anything. All right, there's an extra oh, one up, and I'm guessing that little uh, opening that showed the waterfall is probably where that flower is, but I'm not so sure. But with that, nah, no bonus game. Alright, all stars, we missed a couple coins and one flower. Like I said before, I'm not going for 100% completion on this. I'm just doing this because I actually really want to try out uh, Yoshi's Island. Because I, I, when I was growing up, I liked playing uh, Yoshi's Story for the Nintendo 64. And when I first got that game, I was really interested in the Yoshi games. Granted, I was young, so... Obviously, it was I wasn't like that one kid that was like, "Oh, look, it's so adorable." I mean, it, it, I just really like Yoshi's uh, Yoshi's Island, and when I saw Yoshi's Story, I mean, no, Yoshi's Story, and when I saw Yoshi's Island, I was really interested, and I really wanted to try it out. But the thing is that I did have it on my Game Boy Advance, but I wanted to try out the original. So, and not only that, but I also wanted to try it. And I also wanted to do a video on it because. Eh, want to experience it and see and show everybody like my reaction to it because I don't know something about Yoshi's the uh, Yoshi's Island or Yoshi's story games or whatever any any of those games I just really like them for some reason right there we got some more stars I think they're supposed to be a no I heard it hmm
Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Um, this level has a new type of egg called the giant egg. Uh, basically, you can uh, eat up uh, giant shy guys, and base and they form a giant egg. And what that thing does, it does actually two things to Yoshi. Uh, the first thing it does is that a is that when it hits the ground. Okay, that was a close one. <laughs> when it hits the ground, um, it actually turns all enemies into uh, stars, just like the same as the uh, middle ring. Um, but there is a little bit of a side effect which actually will show up here as soon as we grab one of these guys. Uh, basically what the giant egg does is that uh, as soon as you try to... Uh, I recommend that you just kill these guys by jumping on them instead of using the egg. Uh, basically what it does is that it um, allows... it makes you start moving forward uh, Makes you start moving forward as soon as you're about to get ready to aim your shot. So it's best to recommend to try to get a get some good uh, room before you actually run it or actually it, uh, start moving. Because when you pick it up and try to move, it actually yeah you can't seem to stop. You just you're just stuck going forward until until you uh, get hit by an enemy or hit a wall. So you just got to be careful with this egg. Let's get another giant egg and oh boy. You can actually see that Yoshi's eyes actually uh, look like the look like his eyes when he touches, I think a fuzzy, or his eyes kind of turn like light green, like he like he's tripping ball, like he's tripping baskets. I'm trying to avoid uh, using foul language. All right here we got another falling block segment. I don't really hate these, but sometimes they can be a pain if, like, they're one of those close encounter ones. Kind of like where it starts falling immediately, and if you don't get on it soon, you're just going to miss a chance to get an item, or um, miss your chance to get across, or anything like that. This one right there. Then we're going to save this giant egg for something, so let's just put it away. Get ourselves another red egg. I think only this middle one has a red coin. You can get up there uh, if you left the uh, red egg block, but there's nothing actually up there for you to uh, reach. Or not reach, but get. Alright, here. Let's try to get an egg in there. I recommend if we... I, I'd rather use a green egg. There we go. Actually, you know what? I should have saved that so when uh, we actually lost any stars, we could have used that to ref uh, refuel them. Mm, just barely. Oop. Uh, these glowing shy guys, like these... I would call them star shy guys because they kind of remind me of how Mario looks like when he uses a star. But I do not know what they actually do. I tried eating them up, but all it does is just only turn them into a regular egg. And when I try to shoot them out, it just rolls on. It, it just rolls like a regular uh, shy guy. So I don't actually know what this thing does. All right, let's get some more coins. Actually, how many coins do we have so far? 67. Well, it's better than 69. Actually, I wonder if that post right there has anything. Let me check real quick. Just want to make sure that I at least try to get as uh, many as many as the items that we need to collect, that, like the red uh, red coins and all that. Like I said, I'm not trying to get 100% complete, but I'll at least uh, try to collect them. If I miss any, oh well. If I don't, well, congratulations for me. Actually, you can't. I, I was actually thinking of ju just jumping off that edge and see where it goes. Uh, right here is a very very painful place. It's not really that hard. It's just that there's a bunch of Lakitu's everywhere, and you already know how I how much I hate Lakitu's. Just trying to get rid of the big egg. Right there, they're supposed to be stars, but since we already got enough stars, we're actually good. The best thing to do in this part of the level is to just keep on moving, because as soon as you off-screen them or uh, get 
far away enough from them, they kind of aren't able to throw anything at you. The thing is that you can eat them and stop them from throwing, but the thing is that they respawn uh, in... So they're pretty much endless. Ah! Great timing. Just gonna wait for him to try to aim there. And there we go! We didn't get all our star uh, points back, but at least we got two of them. Actually, I think there's a middle ring right here. Yep, there it is. Alright, now we get a new Yoshi uh, Yoshi transformation. Uh, we now get the uh, Yoshi car. Uh, it's pretty much a simple, uh, just press the button at the right time to avoid uh, getting, getting hit. You just basically press B uh, to uh, lift yourself up into the air for a couple seconds, so that way you can avoid any enemies that are right under you. Um, it's not really that hard. I actually kind of like it. Let's keep on going. Uh, I think there's something... Yep, there was. Let's go around you. And there we go. Now, if you were using the Yoshi car to get down here, you'd be able, you would be able to get to this little trampoline here. Let's wait for those tap-taps to move. And if you just jump high enough, which I did not, so I'm going to have to... Oh, God. Let's wait for these guys to move. Actually, I actually need those. So give me that. Actually, let me collect all the coins here. Alright, that actually helps a lot. That was actually a good idea. Alright, so let's get back down here. There we go. The good thing about getting this uh, helicopter up here is not just only for the coins, but also if you keep on going, you will find some one-up balloons. Actually, three of them. And if you're able to get all of them, you actually get some nice one-ups. There's, there's even one down here. And yeah, that was actually kind of nice. Uh, now there's some more tap-taps. I don't think those coins are necessary. And yep, we missed two flowers. Oh, but at least we got a bonus challenge. Mm, yeah, we missed a we missed a ton. Drawing lots. So it's just basically a, I think it's the yep, it's that one. It's the one where you just only get one shot, one chance. I don't know for sure, but I think that they have two Magic Koopas on this game. Like on this, uh, on this uh, flip uh, bonus challenge game, because I don't know why, but I always get the Magic Koopas more often than I should. Oh, actually three, and my voice messed up. So, okay, that was weird. So, all right then. <laughs> Alright, well with that, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it to uh, to 8 and finish off the castle in this video, so I'm just going to hold off until then. Um, quick little r note, uh, I am going to be pausing my Yoshi's Island and uh, Survival Kids Let's Plays sometime soon. I don't know when, like maybe at part 10, part... Heck, maybe it could be the next part. Um, because I am going to be interrupting my Let's Plays, uh, my current Let's Plays right now, to do a blind Let's Play on uh, a new uh, Mega Man fan game called uh, Mega Man Unlimited. Uh, the game is being created by uh, Mega Phil X, and it was it looks really good. And I've been following it on DeviantArt and Yo and YouTube and such for a long time. And it's finally going to be released uh, July 14th, I believe. I, I, I believe. I believe. Or I think, or July 4th. I'm trying to remember. No, July 14th. Uh, and I am really excited to get uh, to start a let's play on that. But I'm go I am going to try to get as many uh, Survival Kid and Yoshi's Island uh, videos out as soon as I can, so that way. At least if I'm going to stop the Let's Play for a, uh, for a little while, I at least stop it at a good point. So, yeah. 
So let's just end off this video. If you like this part, subscribe to my video's white little button, give me a good thumbs up review down below this video, and check out my other parts if you like this one. In the next one, we are going to tackle on 2-8 and get started on uh, World 3. I will see you guys next time.